For years, we've been told, or I know I've been told, that driving a car is a privilege, not a right. Privilege, according to the government law. Natural law, and the rights of all human beings, is simply that we have the right to travel freely, and that includes operating a motor vehicle. But, on the contrary, like I said, government law has always been that it's a privilege. Now, recently, I've been going through this debacle back and forth with the Ohio Bureau of Motor Vehicles. In 2015, I was involved in a minor traffic accident, and at that time, my insurance policy had lapsed, unbeknownst to me, and as a consequence, I was stuck with the $2,900 in damage to the car that I hit. Luckily, no one was hurt. It was just damaged to the vehicle. So I entered into an agreement to make payments on that $2,900, with the collection agency that was holding the debt hired by the other insurance company. I agreed to pay a certain monthly payment until the debt was paid off. However, earlier this year, after I'd paid on the debt for about a year, I hit some hard times on my job and income and became unable to pay. I made this company completely aware of my situation. However, eventually they said I defaulted on the agreement, which technically I did and they proceeded to send a notice to the Ohio BMV, and they subsequently suspended my driver's license. Here's where the weird and interesting part comes in. I was told by the Bureau of Motor Vehicles that because my lack of insurance in 2015 and the subsequent security suspension that resulted, I had three options. I could wait out the entire two-year suspension, I could enter into an agreement and pay off the debt, or I could pay a deposit with the BMV in the entire amount of what was owed, the $2,900. Then the collection agency hired by the person I hit's insurance company could then collect it from the BMV. I chose the second option. As I just said, I entered into that agreement, which I subsequently and unfortunately defaulted on earlier this year. And again, I asked the BMV if I could just serve the remainder of the two-year suspension, which ended uh, this September, this past September, in which case I wouldn't need to pay the remainder of what was owed on the debt. It could be charged off. And they verified that was correct. So, so, so what I was doing is I was taking that first option instead of the second option that I originally agreed to. I was just going to serve out the two years. But that wasn't the correct information. Evidently, because I had made the original agreement to pay, that canceled out the option to wait out the two years. So instead of my license being reinstated in September, at the end of August, I received yet another two-year suspension. Right after I had paid off an old speeding fine, purchased a new insurance policy, and reinstated my license, I literally was valid for one week because they gave me the wrong information saying that, oh yeah, you'll be, you'll be, you'll be good to go in September and when, when the suspension's over. You don't have to worry about uh, entering any more agreements or paying any more on the debt. Wrong. So this letter that you're looking at right now, I just received today, states that I'm now receiving another suspension due to my not continuing to hold insurance by way of a document called an SR-22 bond. Stemming from the 2015 accident, I was required to have this filed until January of 2019. In other words, whenever my insurance cancels, I am automatically suspended again. Well, obviously, after I found out that about the new two-year security suspension on August the 25th, there was obviously no point in me maintaining an insurance policy when I was suspended anyway. So I let my insurance cancel. So anyway, the thing that I primarily made this video for, and what I found very interesting, is the fact that this letter explicitly states, quote, you have lost your right to drive. Now wait, I always thought, according to the law, driving was a privilege, not a right. Well, I'm happy to see here that they finally got it right. However, since it is a basic human right to be able to travel freely, how are they claiming to have the power to take that away? I've always wondered that. Well, if you read down a few lines here, it also says, quote, your driving and registration privileges will remain suspended until you obtain a new insurance filing. So which is it? A uh, privilege or a right? It's confusing. Especially when you got one person at the Bureau of Motor Vehicles telling you one thing and then letters saying other things and it's all confusing and nobody could possibly know how to handle these things 
properly when when you're getting the wrong information all the time. Anybody that has dealt with the Ohio Bureau of Motor Vehicles or probably any other Department of Motor Vehicles in other states knows exactly what I'm talking about. You can't win. See, I understand paying for damage. Paying for damage to a vehicle that I did not have insurance to cover and it was my fault in the accident. However, I was never given a chance to review what damage was done to that vehicle. I snapped a few pics of the uh, vehicle on the scene and to me there was definitely not $2,900 in damage. Hell, it totaled my car, barely made a scratch on the SUV I hit. It was like a Jeep Cherokee or something. And since I was required to pay this debt out of my own pocket, shouldn't I have been given a statement of exactly what I was paying for? If I had had insurance, my insurance company would have had the right to negotiate how much was paid out in the claim. But I was never given that right. I was simply handed a bill and told to pay it or else. Or else I could no longer have the privilege to drive anymore or travel anymore. Which is essentially what it's telling you. Because how is one, in today's American society, supposed to earn a living without the ability to drive a car? Maybe sure, if you live in a city and you can take the bus everywhere, but I don't. It's practically impossible. It's like trying to function without a phone, without internet access. But they seem to think by punishing me, by taking away my right to drive a car, is going to get the debt paid. Makes zero sense whatsoever. I'm left with little choice but to drive without a license. I don't think a license should be required in the first place, as it is a right, not a privilege. But that's a story for another video. I just find this whole situation extremely frustrating, but also amazing that they can't decide within one letter, one single letter, whether it's a right or a privilege. I'm shaking my head. Okay guys, that's it for this video. I'm Andy Michaels. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. Please go to patreon.com slash Andy Michaels and consider helping me out for this channel. Like, subscribe, and share the video. And have a good one.